Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Driving. Me, myself, and I here. It's Sunday, which means it's my Friday, and I'm wearing the biohazard hat, so it's biohazard Friday. Woohoo! I just saw the stupidest meme thing, whatever, on Facebook. Uh, basically, the gist was God is still in control, so everything's okay. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> See, talking with my wife, she's been waiting for a text message from one of the three owners. Uh, see, she works for a bowling alley and pool hall all in one. And, uh, of course, so she deals with the public. And with this whole coronavirus thing going, everything's closing down and such. All the sports are done. Her bowling tournament is still going, though. It starts on Thursday next week. Go figure. Anyhow, um, she's actually kind of waiting for the text message from the owners going you know what with everything going down going on we're shutting the doors for x length of time kind of thing because the one <laughs> the one owner he comes in i want to go and i want to get hand sanitizer for every single table and i want to have containers of wipes all over the place and da, 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 and basically like are you freaking kidding me I realize it's a bowling alley and pool hole, like they got bowling alleys on the three floors. The top floor, it's kind of like, it's where they have the corporate parties and that. They got a bar, they got a dozen bowling lanes, I think, maybe more. 12 to 15 bowling lanes, anyhow. And then on the basement, that's where they got the cosmic, where they have the kids parties, stuff like that. And another 12 to 15 bowling lanes down there. I forget exactly how many they have now. Anyhow, um, on the main floor, they've got a snooker table. They've got 22 bowling uh, pool tables. They've got some are nine foot, some are seven foot. The different sizes of tables. Um, they got three three dart boards at the back wall. You know, so like it's a pretty decent sized place with the three floors. They got a kitchen where they make food and everything, so they can get pretty busy. Now, unless they've got a bowling tournament or a party or something going, I don't know how many people they would normally have on a busy day, like a busy, busy Friday, Saturday night kind of thing, have in the building. Just trying to think because um, almost, it seems like almost every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they've got a pool tournament going. Go figure, right? So. They'd probably have between 150 and 250 people in the building if it was like packed and busy, like crazy busy. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm not really sure. Well, upstairs they could have a corporate party and have 40 to 60 people up there in the pool tables. So yeah, no, they could probably be, you know, be, between the, hit the 2 to 250 range where they're saying you don't have too many people around. So yeah. So she's expecting that to be closed. I'm a carry I take care of disabled people with tracheotomies, G-tubes, and catheters, stuff like that. So there's four clients and then there's, you know, the staff. So we'll, we will never get shut down, but I am waiting for the day I get a text message going, you can't go to work because we're on lockdown because of the virus or whatever. What would really suck is I've, I'm at work and they decide to lock down and then I can't leave, go, go home. Because that means I could literally be at work on lockdown for 14 days. Working 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 14 days without being able to go home and no actual place to sleep. Wow, that sucked balls. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, basically with this whole coronavirus thing, shit's getting really stupid. Um, so her work compared to my work is like really weird and different so we'll see how things go um, it is my Friday so I'm gonna stop at the local Tim Hortons and grab myself breakfast lunch and dinner on the way to work um, let's hope things don't get really 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 stupid and don't have some sort of lockdown thing or the wife gets locked out of work <laughs> so yeah I hope everybody out there is being safe 
wash your hands. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but anyhow, that's my public service announcement for the day. Wash your damn hands, people. Don't sneeze on people. Be smart, be safe, be healthy. Take your easy, have a good one. Catch you later. Be good.